Welcome to the final video in this 10 part series of using math manipulatives and modeling in order to solve word problems. Today we'll be taking a look at a problem that is typically considered an algebra problem. So you or I might take a look at this and immediately think of x's and x plus ones and x plus twos, but I would like to explore first of all how we could think about this problem using bar models before we get to typical algebraic thinking. So let's take a look at what these numbers might look like if we re represented them visually. As you can see, we know that each number differs by one, and I've modeled that using the bar model, which allows us to easily figure out what those three consecutive numbers are. Now, when our students are ready, we can use a manipulative like algebra tiles to basically represent this exact same thinking, but in a concrete way that is going to allow us to bridge to algebraic thinking in an equation as I'm showing here right now. The big thing that I would love for you to remember when you're considering problem solving is that there's never one right way, but the more ways that we can connect the information for our students and the more ways that we can help them represent it, the deeper the understanding will be that they are building.